New concerns tonight that Donald Trump's Florida resort, Mar-a-Lago, did not meet the standards needed to store top-secret classified documents. You have this perfect storm of intelligence, interest, and poor security uh, all in one place in Florida. According to a review by CNN's Kevin Liptak, security at Mar-a-Lago has come into question on several occasions in recent years. One night in 2017 at the resort, when Trump and then-Japanese leader Shinzo Abe consulted on a sensitive national security issue, word of a North Korean missile launch, club guests were close enough to take photos like these. In view of the guests on the patio, documents were illuminated by the light of a cell phone. The fact that he has these documents lying around and he shares it with a foreign national who happens to be a prime minister, and who knows who else, uh, is incredibly serious. And it shows uh, a general lack of understanding of how our national security system works. Another post from a Mar-a-Lago guest showed the guest standing with an aide who he said held the president's nuclear launch code satchel. It was unclear how close the guest got to the satchel. In 2019, a Chinese businesswoman was arrested for trespassing at Mar-a-Lago. She carried into Mar-a-Lago, or was able to carry into Mar-a-Lago, a modern-day burglar's toolkit. Including a thumb drive, a laptop, an external hard drive, and four cell phones. Prosecutors said they later found in her hotel room a device to detect hidden cameras and thousands of dollars in cash. One intelligence veteran worries about who else could have breached the compound at any point. If I were a hostile intelligence service, I would have, I would have tried to have recruited a maintenance person, a maid, uh, middle management, a secretary, one of the people that comes and goes within Mar-a-Lago all the time. In 2018, while the president and first lady were at Mar-a-Lago, a college freshman was able to get onto the grounds by walking through a tunnel from the beach. Prosecutors said he was screened for weapons by the Secret Service at some point, but wasn't stopped from entering the property, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. And it was just uh, waiting for disaster. You could walk into the pool. There was nobody standing there. Author Lawrence Lamer has written a book on Mar-a-Lago and says he's been on the estate several times. Lamer says Trump's personal attitude towards security there is part of the problem. He's perfectly comfortable in Mar-a-Lago. Why? Because he has to be adored. He can't stand to be alone. He wants to have people around him all of the time celebrating. So when he walks to Mar-a-Lago, people stand up. They're constantly standing up applauding him. He needs that. He's hungry for that. Regarding the latest reporting of sensitive documents remaining at Mar-a-Lago, CNN has reported that one of Trump's attorneys claimed earlier this summer that no classified material remained at Mar-a-Lago. Trump and his allies have said he used his presidential prerogative to declassify the documents before leaving office, but they have not provided any evidence of a formal declassification process taking place.